Grandpa, uh, I guess, was about to go back to uh, get her and uh, bring her and the family over. And um, his brother said, well, we first have to go to Niagara Falls. It's one of the seven natural wonders of the world, and you have to see it. So they went, and Grandpa was absolutely stunned with the, the beauty of the Niagara region. And um, he was re in the park by the falls, apparently, reading a newspaper, and there was a power of sale in Niagara-on-the-Lake. And all of the money he earned, he bought it. And it was a house on King Street, actually, where May Lybrock lived, um, about three uh, lots in from Ricardo Street, Ricardo in front. And um, the business on the main street was um, a tailor's shop and so grandpa reinvented himself as a tailor and did dry cleaning and you may have seen the picture that Jimmy had of Schnabel's um, tip top tailor shop and that was grandpa's shop so anyhow grandpa um, was a tailor grandma helped him there uh, was a treadle machine in the, in the kitchen and she gave me the first lessons love sewing, still love sewing if I had had my druthers I would have been an, uh, a fashion designer but it was not the thing that you could do when you were uh, came out of high school here <laughs> must have been around what, 56 that grandpa died um, and my mother took over things and she was a bit of a crackerjack for the time because most women had three or four kids but they all stayed at home there was no no one worked it, and if you did work you know you worked at the canning factory <laughs> or as a secretary anyhow she um I guess was cleaning grandpa's business up after um he had died, kind of trying to unload stuff because she was not a tailor. She was not going to, she did beautiful handwork, but she she wasn't going to be a tailor. But she did love clothes. Any, and she knew how to sew. I think while she was out cleaning up the business, she had an apron on and someone commented on the apron. And uh, the story goes that on the weekend she had a, you know, a dozen of these aprons made and was selling them around. So she um, had a, a, a thriving business. She uh, at in Grandpa's shop at 60 Queen Street, um, and she sold ladies' clothing. And um, I, I don't know how many years next the shop next to her was called Kitty's Corner. Um, K i d d i e k o r n e r, <laughs> and um, when. That business came up for sale, or maybe she made an offer. Um, she took it on, and they, the buildings were adjoined. She knocked a hole in the wall, and then she had women and children. 